Ever wondered how a boy from the streets of Brooklyn became the wealthiest musical artist in the world? Well, our story begins in the late 60s, in the heart of Brooklyn, New York, the birthplace of our protagonist, Sean Corey Carter, known today as Jay-Z. Jay-Z's early life was far from a walk in the park. Born into an environment where every day was a battle for survival, he learned from a young age that life was a game of chess and he'd need to make strategic moves to get ahead. And indeed, young Sean Carter did just that. Music became his solace, his refuge from the harsh realities of the streets. From a young age, he began to develop a keen interest in the rhythmic flow of words and melodies. The world around him was a symphony of sounds, each one telling a story, each one painting a picture. And he, Sean Carter, was determined to be the conductor of this symphony. His humble beginnings were not a setback, but rather a stepping stone. They were the fuel for his ambition, the inspiration for his lyrics, and the motivation for his success. The streets of Brooklyn, the challenging environment, the hustle and bustle of everyday life, they were his muse. They were the canvas on which he would paint his story, a story that would resonate with millions around the world. And so amidst the clamor of the streets and the chaos of life, a star was born. A star who would rise above the hardships, break free from the shackles of adversity, and make a name for himself in the world of music. A star who would not only change the game, but also redefine it. Despite the hurdles, a young Sean Carter was shaping up to pave his way into the music industry. He was ready to take on the world, ready to turn his dreams into reality, ready to become Jay-Z. The year 1994 marked a significant turning point in Sean Carter's life. This was the year when the world was introduced to Jay-Z, a name that would soon become synonymous with success, influence and groundbreaking artistry in the music industry. In the bustling city of New York, Jay-Z and his close friends Damon Dash and Kareem Burke co-founded Rockefeller Records. This was an audacious move, a daring venture into the competitive world of music. But Jay-Z was determined to carve out his own path to create a platform from where he could share his unique voice with the world. Two years later, in 1996, Jay-Z released his debut album, Reasonable Doubt. The album was a masterpiece, blending gritty street tales with philosophical musings. It was an album that resonated with many, an album that perfectly captured the essence of Jay-Z's experiences and observations. The album was a commercial success, debuting at number 23 on the Billboard 200 and eventually achieving platinum status. More importantly, it established Jay-Z as a formidable talent in the music industry. Jay-Z's unique storytelling ability, his clever wordplay and his distinct voice set him apart from his contemporaries. His music was not just about rhythm and rhymes, it was about life, about struggle, about triumph. It was about the human experience in its rawest form. And people connected with it. They connected with Jay-Z, they connected with his authenticity, his vulnerability, his strength. Reasonable doubt was the foundation upon which Jay-Z built his illustrious career. It was the first step in a journey that would see him rise to unprecedented heights in the music industry. It was the beginning of a legacy. A legacy of excellence, of influence, of resilience. With the success of Reasonable Doubt, Jay-Z was no longer just Sean Carter from Brooklyn, he was a rising star. From a rising star, Jay-Z soon became a supernova. Once he had made his mark with Reasonable Doubt, Jay-Z was far from done. He was just getting started. The stage was set, the microphone was hot, and Sean Carter was ready to seize the moment. In the years that followed, the world bore witness to an artist in his prime, releasing a staggering 12 additional albums. What's more, 14 of his albums, a number that would make any artist green with envy, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. This was no small feat. It was a testament to his lyrical prowess, his ability to connect with fans, and his knack for crafting hits that resonated with a broad audience. Speaking of hits, who could forget the anthem of the struggle and the hustle, Hard Knock Life? or the infectious rhythm and wordplay of Big Pimpin'. These songs weren't just chart toppers, they were cultural phenomena, defining the sound of an era and elevating Jay-Z to the status of a music industry titan. His collaborations too were nothing short of spectacular. Working with various artists across genres, Jay-Z proved that he was not just a solo act, he was a team player, able to adapt, innovate and create magic, whether he was sharing the stage or the recording booth. These collaborations added another layer to his artistry, showcasing his versatility and his willingness to push boundaries. But it wasn't just about the music. 
It wasn't just about the fame or the accolades. For Jay-Z, it was about the journey. It was about climbing to the top, not just of the charts, but of his potential. It was about transforming from Sean Carter, the kid from Brooklyn with big dreams, to Jay-Z, the artist, the icon, the supernova. With multiple chart-topping albums and collaborations, Jay-Z was now a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. Jay-Z's influence wasn't just limited to the music industry. His entrepreneurial spirit and sharp business acumen led him to co-found Rockefeller Records, a move that would pave the way for his debut album and many more chart-topping hits. But his ventures didn't stop there. He went on to establish Rockerwear, a clothing retail company that became a significant player in the fashion industry. Alongside his music and fashion exploits, Jay-Z also made significant strides in the food and beverage industry. He recognized the increasing demand for alternative milk options and decided to invest in Oatly, a vegan milk company. This decision proved to be a masterstroke as Oatly's popularity surged among millennial and Generation Z consumers, and it even secured partnerships with the likes of Starbucks. But it was not just about making profitable investments for Jay-Z, it was about creating a diverse portfolio that resonated with his personal brand and values. These ventures, including Rock Nation, an entertainment company, showcased his ability to spot trends and capitalize on them. Jay-Z's business acumen was as sharp as his lyrical prowess, propelling him to become the first hip-hop billionaire in 2019. And from the streets of Brooklyn to the upper echelons of music and business, Jay-Z's journey is truly remarkable. Sean Carter, known to the world as Jay-Z, has shaped the music industry with his unique blend of rhythm and rhyme, his discography boasts 14 albums debuting at number one on the Billboard 200, a testament to his enduring popularity. His hits like Hard Knock Life and Big Pimpin have not only topped charts, but also permeated the cultural zeitgeist. Beyond his musical prowess, Jay-Z has demonstrated an uncanny knack for business, becoming the first hip-hop billionaire in 2019. His ventures from Rockaware to Rock Nation have diversified his portfolio and solidified his status as a business magnate. With a staggering net worth of $2.5 billion, he stands as the wealthiest musical artist in the world. However, it's not just about the money. Jay-Z's influence extends to the heart of the industry, shaping trends and opening doors for future artists. His 24 Grammy Awards and an astonishing 140 million records sold globally underline his status as a living legend. Jay-Z's story is a testament to his talent, determination and business savvy. From Sean Carter to Jay-Z, his journey continues to inspire millions around the globe.